Welcome to the Vortex, the time Vortex. This is Strato Time. Lord Strato here for another episode of World of Warcraft Legion Let's Play. And uh, let's pick up where we left off from last episode. Again, if you guys are enjoying, leave a like, subscribe. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> How long would it take me to fly back, uh, or teleport home, I should say? What if we just prop him up in a wife. library and see if he learns how to be a wizard? <laughs> if you teleport home, it's Maybe a blink and then a blink of an eye. And then oh, fly him over the tower? Yeah, I bet I could. Because <laughs> we know Duleen's down here. Don't you dare. So you can uh, teleport back where? Uh, I wanted to, I wanted now to go see his wife. It's been a while. Oh, you're just going to go My, home? Yeah. That's fine. You show up at night. Um... This is thinner in like... A while. Let's <laughs> fight. Get mad. Or... About a week, maybe. <laughs> She's probably gonna cry her woes on your shoulder. Woesy, woesy, woesy. <laughs> that the whole, hey, when were you gonna tell me I could turn into a dragon thing? <laughs> hey, you you do show up. You notice that your uh, statue's not at your house? You show up. Hmm. Kind of sitting in their couch. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Mm -hmm. So, I don't see the thing I sent. Oh, I got it. There's Where? no room in the... They couldn't put it in the house because the ceiling wasn't high enough. Okay. Then yeah. where is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they converted uh, Warehouse 3, and they were thinking about converting Warehouse 3 into a, a uh, museum anyways, so um, there you go. <laughs> it's so, on display in a museum. Alright then. Duh. You're the uh, main, uh, you're one of the main uh, attractions over there. People pay to see my husband's junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, it could be worse. Oh, yeah, yeah. All the ladies coming up to me and like, Oh, gosh, jeez. <laughs> have to deal with that all the time, yeah. Good times, good times. I like that he hasn't said anything to indicate if it's incredibly large or incredibly small yet. <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> Keeping this PG-13. No, it's yep. not. No, it's not. He's not. <laughs> I, like, I sit down on the couch and go, so, when were you going to tell me I could turn into a dragon? Oh, well... Oh, I guess I guess I thought you knew. Huh? <laughs> you didn't. You didn't feel different after drinking that uh, concoction that my dad made for you. No, no, not really. Like the scales growing on your back was it an indication, maybe? <laughs> well, no, no, no. That was weird. I, I mean, I, I felt that, but I thought that was it. I mean, it didn't. I didn't feel any different beyond that. A prince of dragons should be a dragon. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mention it. I'm sorry I had no choice in having a statue made of me. It's okay, sweet um. I made sure and uh, added a loincloth for you. <laughs> oh. uh, damn it. At least it would have good use of money from it anyway. That was Yeah. The uh I did get a a uh, man from uh uh Krim wanted me to sell it to him for uh thirty thousand. Thirty thousand? Hey, can you not uh, pay for me? 
<laughs> I'm laughing ago. I'm surprised you didn't take it. Well, I wanted to ask you first. It was your present to me. To be honest, it was made out of... I didn't know what to do with it. I figured you would have a better idea. Cause I really had no choice in the matter. You always have a choice. I can tell by the expression, your expression. She smiles a little bit. <sighs> it's a long day. <laughs> so I tried to get the scepter, and well, I failed. Oh, I heard uh, about that. Uh, the dragons were watching you guys fail. I made it fairly far, but uh, a little tougher than I expected. Yeah, those those uh, lords are pretty nasty. The final metals didn't help any either. <laughs> well, next time you go, you won't have to fight as much. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> A little more you are going to the plane of fire after all. Everyone should have been immune to fire damage. The. Anyway. But, um. A couple of more days and the baby will probably be ready to come out. That's good. Then I can walk around with this massive belly. <laughs> Just have to watch. Uh, no, now that you're and you can fly yourself. Uh, she smiles. True. But it's not as fun. No. She's, she kind of blushes a little bit, yeah. It's kind of why I didn't want to. Thought you were, you know, didn't want to turn into a dragon to hang with me more. Oh, well, I just didn't know. So I'm not. I'm not stupid, but I'm not the uh, more instinctual than anything else. At least you got a good start to your dragon order. Massive statue of yourself. <laughs> start. Yeah. Something, that's for sure. <laughs> but I'm really tired and I just wanted to come home. I got you, sweetie. Wait. Blocks on your lap and like, don't do it. Now he just has and wants to be home and not out killing something. Who is this guy? This is not awful. <laughs> Somebody stole his soul. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I, I, I just wanted you to stop bullying me. <laughs> so I sold this uh, soul to um, to uh, the, the people that uh, captured me. <laughs> in pa in payment, they, instead of killing me, they turned me into a sword. Okay. For now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Diana. Um, so tonight you you just hang out. I mean, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to do. Neither have I, because I cannot do anything without other people to take me around now. Damn it. Um, Lady Starchild does come see you at night, and. Um, Says, well, I heard you found out about the uh, the Hester's plot to find your father's grave. Yes, that I did run into a couple people looking for that. Hmm. Wait, actually, I'm not sure they ever actually told me that. I never told nope. you that. No, no, no one actually told me that they were doing <laughs> that. She she's telling you. Uh, so in that case, I go wait. Who? What now? 
Yes. Oh, you didn't know? No. Those uh, four people that were the spies in Fort Hope were actually poking around to see if they could find the location of your long-lost father. Diana starts swearing. <laughs> she swears a lot. She swears for a while. She swears like somebody who's been learning swears for 150 years. Yay. She finishes after a little bit. Yeah, like, they start to like, sip in your tea while you're swearing. Let you go up. <sighs> okay. Damn it. All right. I got to I got to find those people then. Oh god. Okay. Time to be Elbas. No. <laughs> do, yep. do we know where those four are right now or I don't suppose you know. Four of them. One of them is dead, remember? Your majesty. Uh, Two of them are probably at a party. <laughs> of course I know who they are, ma'am. One of them works for me. Oh. Yes, I told them to make sure they never find your dead father. Oh, well, thank you for that. I did meet them at one point. I, I will say, one of them I could definitely see as being looking for that. He was one of the most devout Metreon worshippers I think I've ever met. So a, devout to a point of... I'm not sure he knew how to think about anything other than Metreon. Um... There was one who did not seem to understand why he was there. And ah, there was a... talking about Akash, yes. Yeah, and then there was one who just seemed like he was there to basically stop the, metri the anti-paladin from doing anything. That was my guy. Ah, okay. And then there was a fourth one who didn't talk much. I don't really know what he was there for. Unfortunately, he passed. Oh, well, that's... Unfortunate. Um, it's always well, the silence ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like a uh, red dragon mountain fail. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I I know people who've done that. Um. So really, it's just the one guy who's looking. All right. Well, it's the Hester family that's looking. That's true. If the whole family is looking, if they're not going to stop with just one guy. Uh, how to deal with that. It would be a mass slaughter. I can't just outright and accuse them of it, or they'll just deny it and then get upset for me accusing them of it. And go rebellion against the queen. And then, of course, you have to... And, um... She kind of looks at you and is like, and they're not exactly killable, either. They're not? Oh, Right. I forgot for a second. I don't think uh, we've it, these characters have actually been told. I kind of assume that Diana has been told at some point. Like, in the background. Like, if no, not, that's fine. They, it's not being told as much. They, people don't mention much about uh, like, I thought people the heads of them other being vampires. It's just a right. known fact to people that are down here, and for us that have just arrived, so, for the most part... I, does Diana know that they are vampires, then, is the question. Uh, Diana does not know they're vampires, and Diana does not know that anyone from Port Sister ate the apple. Okay. So, Diana would then respond to that with, what did they... Have Have they... Are they immortal? Oh, of course, Your Majesty. They, uh, they ate the apple long ago with your father. All of them have eaten apples? Well, a few of them, yes, but the... Unfortunately, because uh, the tree is uh, Helion's blessing upon the world, he took it away from them and cursed them. Mm. But they are mortal by another means. And that would be... She kind of leans in. They're vampires. Ah. I want to suck your blood. <laughs> that does make things more difficult. Not impossible, but more difficult. But I'd just probably not go around assassinating people. Not really a big fan of that. Uh, <laughs> the weird queen arrives and assassinates oh. the whole family. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kay and <laughs> Yeah. That's why they don't like the, uh... The Red the Queen? What'd you so, say? I was like, um... The reason is, like... Uh, yeah, that's, um... The main reason we have a no policy for the other undead is they uh, view them as lesser needs. Well, a bit hypocritical, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, Shortens, you also mentioned that uh, it's the Hester family that is uh, the lead family of the uh, fourth sister. Diana, Diana should know that. Yeah. Mm. Um, you know that they're in charge. Just makes things harder. Well, and also you have a massive goblin army that is sitting there in, in uh, Transylvania. And that the we could deal with. I didn't know about that either. Apparently I've been missing a whole lot of information. Oh, uh, I guess this is what I get for not going into court as often as I should. Or at least talking to my commanders. I had only uh, found most of this out the night before, and I was just waiting for a good time to talk to you about it, probably. She says, um... Do they... Uh, yeah. You probably want to talk to your friend Len about something. I will check in with her. I appreciate the uh, advice. No Alright, so we have an entire family who's in charge of Fort Sister who's trying to find my father, who we definitely, who I definitely do not want to be found. Uh, we have an army of goblins bearing down on us, and, uh... Uh, They've been there for thousands of years. They just don't have enough power to take us out. Ah, okay. So, no immediate threat. Well, there's this massive person by the name of Pestilence guarding us. Yeah, sweet mess. Well, well, well. Who is no, the one who can help with Pestilent, though? He's the only way to protect us by sea, so... Yeah, some goblins aren't exactly known for their uh, seaworthiness. Mm. They're getting better. At some point, they will come and get us all by the sea. Then you know the whole world-ending part. <laughs> Whack and walk. Yeah, we haven't talked about that very much. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to. You're like, well, uh, not that that's... Rumors are already spreading that the... Um... Uh, they're speaking of the legend of... Uh, uh, rumors and legends have already been spreading around what happened to uh, uh, Hardwin Hope that he died oh. gloriously in battle with a elder elemental in order for your majesty the queen to survive and escape. Well, well just like that. Just <laughs> we certainly exactly walk back with him visible. He certainly did do everything within his power to allow us to break free of the elementals. He's, uh, he's not quite dead yet. He's uh, a little indisposed at the moment, though. We are working <laughs> on that. I ain't dead yet. I ain't dead yet. <laughs> Just a question out of curiosity. If they truly believe he's dead, what will they think of him if he comes back to normal? What do you mean he's not dead? She kind of raised her up about you. Uh, Hardwin is, uh, he is unfortunately hit by some form of magic that I'm not familiar with, and he's been polymorphed into another form. We are currently working on getting him changed back. Ah, yes. Uh, we were attempting to keep it rather quiet for the moment so that we didn't lower any sort of morale or anything like that. He's very well liked among the people. Also the Knight of the Queen? Hmm. Well, we want to make it look all festive and flary, don't, don't we? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Well, if he's going to come back from the dead, we want to make it look good. 
I suppose there is that. I have a friend who's a uh, master wizard and illusionist. Uh, he'd be interested in helping out, but uh, he would like permission to examine three of your feathers from your wings. Mm. I assure you he's loyal to Helion. Would not use them for time to be He just likes to do research on celestial beings. I believe that can be arranged so long and he as he is very careful with them. Of course, Your Majesty. We will make sure that they're uh, he will make sure that they're destroyed and taken care of properly after examination. Assuming he does so, I, I think that can be arranged. Oh. Um very well, um um You'll come by in the morning to pick up your friend and take care of the issue. I believe that will work fine. Alright. So, we'll fast forward in the morning when uh, Alright. Okay. So, um, at, yeah. at some point I would probably tell them, hey, I've arranged to get uh, get him changed back into being a human. <laughs> well, I would imagine you'd try to come in and talk to me about things anyway. I also probably come talk to you about this army and, like, these people trying to find my dad and stuff. Go, Landley, what haven't you been telling me? It's like, I have the key for secrets, you know. No. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> Wait a second, it's for me. Black, Black Not from me, am I? No, um, I was just looking for the right time to talk to you about it, most like, more than anything, and I don't think talking to you about it in the middle of a dungeon is a good like, way to talk to somebody. Yeah, that's a good point, I suppose. Um, yes, I had... I had to stop the portal from being constructed so we didn't, you know, invite an army right into the middle of Finland. With the whole we're, goblins We were stuff. going to... Oh, the portal was going to connect to the goblins? It's going to connect to the goblins here and a couple other places. Okay, well, I can see why you wanted to pause on that. I mean, I wanted to use it to get around faster, but I didn't realize we'd be having an army literally marching through it on our doorstep then. And of course, I had found out from a gentleman that worked for me, though he perished apparently, about the situation. Uh, yes, I think we met. He was, uh, in the company of some particularly incompetent spies. Or particularly suspicious people who are not spies. One of the two. I'm not really sure. Well, I know that the... The gentleman from the family of... I forget the name of the family right now, but... Myself personally, with Landley, would say, "Yeah, <laughs> Star Child or not Star Child? Oh, Hester. 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 The Hester family yeah. was uh, seeking to go raise the king. I told him to keep an eye on him and let us know if they were getting and their progress on where they were going and stuff. And of course, if they did find him, to try to you know." kills a man before he could res the king. That seems like a good move. There was the, uh... Akash. When I met him, he, uh... At the very least, he's not going to make it easy for the other one. Not intentionally, but, you know. No. He doesn't appear to be very competent, gonna be honest. Well, at least he's not gonna be easy for him to do it. 
Not to mention there was the whole fiasco that happened, apparently. Well, that was a pain in the ass to deal with. I should at least let Lord Hester know quietly that if, theoretically, he were ever to send some spies into another country, he should probably, theoretically, pick some that aren't immediately going to tell everyone they're spies. Uh. Like your guy. <laughs> Well, the thing is, it just depends on uh, who the actual spy is and if they managed to blurt it out or not, like a moron. And apparently this one did. Yes. Although he seemed very confused at the idea of him being a spy. The only one I know that was being a spy was the, the gentleman from the Hester family. Yeah, the gentleman from the Hester family seemed to be under the impression that Akash was also a spy, while Akash was under the impression that he was not. I feel like they had some communication issues going on there. Did you not see paperwork from Akash? Saying that he was just there to look at all the other gods? No, he didn't actually give me any paperwork. I didn't believe that man was actually a spy. He was sent later on. Mm. Well... I, I'd be willing to believe that. He did not appear to be. Well, thank you for letting me know. Also, I've arranged for... Uh, I, I've arranged for Hardwin to get changed back. I should probably let him know. Oh, he's right, uh, there. he's right there on the table. He's been here the whole time. Oh, damn, hard. Yeah. It's so hard to pay attention to you. I mean, when you're not being loud and annoying all the time, it's just... It, it, I don't even notice you. I have been doing... The only thing I can do right now, thinking. But it's hard when you two are speaking out loud. I can imagine thinking loud. for you would be hard. Um, no, it's hard because you guys are disturbing me. Yeah, well, but I will come it because I'm getting tired of this. Somebody, somebody will be by tomorrow morning to change you back into human form. How did you make somebody come and change? I did someone a favor. Speaking of which, you owe me a favor. How big? We'll discuss it when it comes up. But at, I'm at already least, your knight. Remember at that. least 2,500 gold worth of favor. Maybe not that amount of, in money, but just, just so you understand how much it would have cost if I hadn't done this for you. Anyways, uh, they will be here tomorrow. When they arrive, if you're asleep, I'll make sure that somebody, you know, informs you so you can get up. Thank you. Alright, so... Me and Hardwin have a long night ahead of us. Didn't right. he... Don't you want to say he was going to skip to the next day or two? No, it's fine. We can skip at that point. It's just you can make that yeah. comment. Cause, I mean, Hardwin says that uh, Langley's is just sitting there in the study, working, and doesn't sleep all night. I don't either, because I don't need sleep while I'm uh, waving. At least I can get peace. Your sword. I I would like to find. By the way, before I go to bed, find, like, a sturdy box, preferably something that I can lock, that I can yeah. store my feathers in. Okay. Fine. And then... Fine. Put, yeah. Okay. You, um... Pretty early in the morning, uh... Langley, uh, the uh, cook says, a gentleman's here for a box from the queen? We need to send somebody to wake the queen if she's still asleep, and uh, go ahead and let the man at least out of the, out of the weather outside. Oh yes, he's waiting down the kitchen area. That's fine. Uh, you get woken up by uh, Lillian Storm. Okay. It's pretty. It's early. Your eyes in your face in the morning. Yeah. 
Gosh, it's so warm. It's perfect. Um, okay, so I uh, before I go downstairs, I will pluck three feathers out of my wings and lock them in the box. Uh-huh. And uh, then I will go downstairs to meet the man. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I suppose if, if nobody has yet grabbed Hardwin, I will grab Hardwin on the way. Hardwin's still at the table with me in the, the study. Okay, well then I swing by the study on my way down and grab Hardwin. Yeah, you see Diana pop in and grab Hardwin. You, you, as, as you're reaching for Hardwin, I stop you. Richard Jay. would be very angry at you at this point if you were to grab him. Ah, uh, I hadn't considered that. I apologize, Richard. Uh... Would you have any objection to me carrying him downstairs? I do not plan on using him in any way. In a box. What? As long as he's in a box. Do you want me to grab him and go downstairs with you? That's probably for the best. I don't think we have a box that'll fit him. Yeah, and I will not be in a box. There's a box over there. (laughs) Do not. I just pick you up and walk downstairs. I hate you with such... You see kind of a uh, a uh, hunched over kind of looking guy with a glass eye and he kind of looks got warts on his face. But hello, your majesty. My master is interested in your subject. Uh, so what befell your brain night? I, I detect evil on him. He is now your Okay, cool. <laughs> what befell your brave knight? I hold up the sword. Brave knight was unfortunately uh, polymorphed into a sword. After okay. they left me behind. Ah, this will work perfect. Interesting. Well, uh, around noon, uh, near the watchtower, uh, watch out for some fireworks. He smiles. He grabs the sword and he's like, the payment? I I hand him the box and the key for the box. He smiles. Ah, thank you, your majesty. My, my patron is very grateful to you and we will make sure to uh, take care of them. He nods and walks away. I'm not sure I've ever met anybody who was more suspicious than that. That was pretty suspicious, all right. Was he evil, by the way? He was not. You see, uh... He's also assured that he is a devout follower of Helion, so... You see a uh, um, storm come in. Uh, Landley. Yes. Uh, I received a message from Nathal that uh, you're needed at the dragons area. All right. Oh, baby time. <laughs> Do you want to watch this time instead of being the one in the ceremony? Looking at you, uh, Diana. Wait, what? You know, you're kind of the mo- the special mother of your friend's ch- friend's dragon child. Wait, who was I? Wait, was I the godmother of? Yes, the godmother. Uh, oh yeah, I was there. Oh wait, and sorry, I missed the last like sentence about what we were talking about. What's going on? Nothel is calling me to be his godmother of his child. I'm Did you want to watch dog. this time? Uh, wait, I'm confused. I thought I was the godmother of Nathil's child. No, or was I the godfather? God, you're the godmother of your friend Marcus's child. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Um, I mean, yeah, I should probably come watch. <laughs> it is yeah. your friend Nathil, after all. I guess we're friends. I saved your life, bitch. <laughs> as much as you want to stab him on occasion, you're still friends, I imagine. 
Good luck. I'm not sure I'm saving hard Alright, um... <laughs> so I'm assuming you guys are bringing, uh... items for the, uh... for the king? Yeah, that is a good idea. Do you have anything? Yeah, I can get something from town before we go. Alright, um... I will we'll do call the same. It. I'll buy, like, something... A gem of some sort worth like twenty gold. Sounds good, and I think that's a good place to end it. Right there, yeah. where everybody makes it back to to see the baby get born. Well, I mean, yeah. baby hatched or whatever. Egg hatching. Yeah. Egg hatching. No, well, the egg egg popping time. Lay it. Yeah, the egg laying. Yep. Good times. All right. All right. Uh, go ahead and sign us up there, Lemon. Uh, again, I do hope you guys enjoyed this run. If you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe. And, uh, again, we apologize for, you know, missing the last couple of weeks. But, well, we had things happen. Yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> it's okay. Still. It's fine, man. It's fine. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. As for now, this is Strato Time Lord Strato signing out.